This is a short video showing you how to use these pliers to set the rivet on the top bridge for your coils. And one of the features of these is if you go too far, you can actually turn it over and you'll be able to push it back down. If you look, you see how much movement is there. That's way too much. It's probably about 20 thousandths. So I came across an idea from uh, someone at a swap meet that said you could buy this parallel set of pliers and adapt them to adjust that. So I went ahead and purchased that. These are not cheap. These are uh, a German tool. Uh, you can see the it's a 8603-150 Nipex. And... This is what it is, it's just a parallel plier. These jaws come together. And what I went ahead and did was I looked at where I think I'm gonna want to make the adjustment, which is where this rivet is on the top. And what this person told me, and I think they did it with a, they said a die grinder and made a round hole but I'm gonna use an angle grinder and just make a notch. I wanna put um, a notch on this up on the top here. Make it just a notch. And um, different than other tools that I've seen, it's going to actually bend the metal as it pushes the river up. So, I'll take that bottom one off. So to take these apart, I see that there's a torque screw here. And if I get that removed, I'll be able to pull off that spring and hopefully get these apart. So after taking off the spring, I needed to get this piece off is the it doesn't disconnect so I'm in the process of using the screwdriver and prying it out and the way I've done that is I've got the little torque screwdriver and just do that so this press is in there I had to be careful I think it bent it slightly but it, I don't think it hurt it so now I have those pieces off, this comes off. Now I, I feel like I can comfortably get a grinder and I'll be coming in here grinding on that. Okay, now I'm gonna lock this in my vise here and start grinding. Okay, now I think I got it ground enough. It's gonna well, fit around the rivet like that. And I have to push it back. I might want to, well, I wanna grind it a little more. Okay, time to Attempt to put these back together. So this slides in here. I have this. Oops, look at that. This comes from the back side. Maybe like that. I'm not going to put the button on yet because I want to be able to remove things if I need to. If things aren't ground down enough or something. This spring will hold that piece in, so I think we'll be fine there. Just need to adjust this up, and hopefully I can do that. Let's see. I think that's far enough. All right, so I'm going to take open a, a new set here. 
and show what the issue is that we're trying to solve. If you look, you see how much movement is there. That's way too much. It's probably about 20 thousandths. Okay, I'm going to use the shim I made. I think with this tool, if I go too far, it's not a big deal, but I've made this in the past, so then when I'm either pounding or trying to push these uh, rivets together, I don't overdo it. In this case, we're going to have a method to fix that, but I just am going to slide this in here. What I'm going to do is get the tool where that back side of the rivet is and have it there and then I'm pressing on the head of the rivet which is under the the flat jaws and I'm just going to press nice and hard okay so that kind of bent that now in this case wow I overdid it I'm gonna have to get used to using the new tool but that's not a big deal because I can come back and gently push it back. Now I can look at it and say, well, where is it? There's some movement. Okay, so it looks like I might have made it too wide. All I needed was enough space for the head of the rivet, and I probably did almost one and a half times that. And you can see the marks there that are in there. But that shouldn't hurt much. Also, if I just want to flatten the head, I can find another spot on the tool and just kind of do do how maybe it would you would have to do it if if we didn't put the grinding. So now again, I think I've maybe overdone it. If there's a thousandth of, of play, that's about it. So I can go back here and I can just kind of gently press it. See if that, yeah. That's a lot less than original, but I can kind of go back and forth. Um, either trying to press the rivet like that. Just, it looks like this rivet head needed to be flattened anyway so I was wanting to do that and then this is just a few thousandths of movement um, depends on who where you look some places will say two or three thousandths some will say five thousandths but then most people agree that when you go over five thousandths that's too much I would have to see this installed to see if it gets a little bit more which it looked like it will but really, all I want to see is a little bit of play there. Okay, I think it's good enough. Um, I don't want to lose this little piece here. So I'm going to try to gently put that back in place. Um, changes I would have made, probably not ground it so much. There is also an option of getting removable like soft jaws, that may have been a lot better idea. I could probably through those soft jaws just drilled a hole and um, I might still consider that. Maybe put the soft jaws and even put, um, may or may not put some under there. But um, definitely I think these will be great tools. Uh, these are not cheap. These are German made. Uh, expect to pay probably 60 bucks for these. And find them on eBay. Um, again, it has the number there that you can uh, use. The 8603150. And that's a metric number. So 150, I believe, is uh, 6 inches, which is 15 uh, centimeters. And so if you want some a little bit longer, you can get them. These are handy, small size. And you could even get the 5 inch, which, what are they, 125 or something like that.